Good morning, Sendai! And good morning to that crew upstairs. <laughs> I have no jacket on me, so I'm a little bit chilly. But yeah, on the way to the station, it's around 8.30 a.m. was the quickest getting ready I ever had to do and now we're going to Tokyo again and then getting the Shinkansen to Nagano Really 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 nervous Really, really panicky. I'm really scared. Oh my god, it was raining, but it's not anymore. I'm gonna head straight to the venue. There's a lot of ladies uh, waiting for their friends and stuff um, at the station, and there was a few um, Baktika girlies on my train as well. Good afternoon, Nagano. <laughs> what a vibe, honestly. If I have any money left over by the time Osaka comes around, I'm going to get um, the pillowcase probably and the keyring and maybe more trading card if I'm not happy with the ones that I got. But I'm sure I will be. Well, I guess we'll find out. And this t shirt is the most beautiful t shirt I have ever seen. I'm speechless. It's even more beautiful in real life and the colors are just amazing. It's perfect. As you may know, Akira Uno is um, one of my favorite illustrators of all time and the fact that this is out now and I can get it is just incredible and I'm so, so happy and this is hands down the most precious bag I own. My life with this bag will not be long enough, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, I just feel like I need more than just my lifetime to enjoy this bag. This is such a good bag as well. It has so many compartments for various little items. It just keeps getting better. I, I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> can we absolutely feral, please? I'm gonna open one of them just so I can uh, put one in my phone case. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, we are in Saizeria. It's my first time at Saizeria. We are trying all of the budget restaurants this time around. I got this shrimp and pasta gratin. Looks good. I just wanted something small and hot. One thing about Nagano is that there's not many like vending machines so I have to walk all the way over there to get to a vending machine and why not even have like milk tea? I just want milk tea. They don't even have milk tea in this one. <laughs> ah, kanoshi. Please have some tea. Yay, royal milk tea. Nice. Not bad. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. 
you guys will never guess what happened. So when I checked my bed just now, I felt something under the sheet. And I was really scared because I thought, oh my god, it looks like a bug. It looks like a little cicada or something that got like caught under the sheet. So I was really, really scared that that's what it was for the longest time. And I took so long to get the sheet up to check what it was. And do you know what it was? It was a pair of circle lenses. <laughs> How does that even happen? How did circle lenses get under the sheet? I have so many questions. Oh, I'm just so relieved that it's not a bug. Just some cute girly left her circle lenses. It's all fine. I'm wearing a tum I don't even know where to start, really. Like, I think I put a huge amount of my own feelings and myself into Isora. So I kind of ended up putting a lot of pressure onto it. Um, and a lot of anticipation just made me really nervous just the kind of fear of like confronting all of these feelings and emotions um, again through the process of seeing it live and seeing um, the people who made those songs actually in front of me the anticipation of going through this intense like emotional experience I guess I was feeling a little bit despondent and a bit sort of melancholy I guess I was just very very panicky, I'm not sure why, but it was so much fun. <laughs> there was a mixture of different emotions, but overall it was incredibly fun and I'm so happy and I'm just stunned, stunned as always by Bhakti Group and the way that they construct lives is just so creative and intelligent and thoughtful and they think of everything and it's just such a beautiful piece of artwork to consume it was too far to um fully make out um anyone's faces properly um but just seeing atan dancing shimmying about walking up and down was enough for me i wasn't expecting like a set list mixed of different songs from so many different um, albums. I cannot believe that they chose to do Once Upon a Time. Aroiwa Anaki is a very significant album to me personally. Um, it was the first album that came out when I became a fan of Bakutiku and I love Aroiwa Anaki so 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 much and I'm so happy I was not expecting Once Upon a Time. Jonathan Jet Coaster was very fun as well. It was really good. They did Die as well and obviously Climax. Really interesting. I just really love the set list that they put together. It's really good. Isora. Isora. The Isora tracks. Ridiculous. Ridiculously good. The best songs live <laughs> were um, Not on Echo Blue which I expected to be very good, and it was. Nananaka Boo, Boogie Woogie, and Hizumi. I think my favorite songs from Izora, Taiyo to Ikarosu, Kampanella, Sayonara Shelter, Mugen Lupu. Those are my four favorite songs from Izora, I would say. I also really do love Hizumi and Nananaka Boo. Incredible song. Achan just pushed it to another level, and oh my god, Uta with his, with his double bass, I think? this gorgeous rich cabaret vibe it was so good boogie boogie was so fun as well and everyone was very excited and hype and it reminded me of dance tengoku because the lighting was very similar like a lot of rainbow lights um happy pride month i'd actually completely forgotten that Hizumi was still coming because um, i was thinking like oh what's what's left of izara that they haven't done uh, I didn't do, but he's a me, I completely forgot, so it was very unexpected. And Atan introduced the song by, um, he did a quick change, he took off his like top layer and then he had this big feather bow on and then he introduced the character of Hizumi and he said oh and he became this completely new character. I couldn't close my mouth, I was like jaw dropping it moved me to tears i was crying when atan becomes this tragic heroine very sexy very erotic kind of character it really moves me and i'm not sure why i think it's that i see so much of him in that kind of character and 
it's just so impressive every time by how well he does it. I'm waiting for Hizumi-chan. I can't wait to see her again. Sayonara shelter followed by Campanella. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was, of course, absolutely bawling my eyes out. Um, I had to really like calm down because I was like about to start crying like very seriously. The visuals were so gorgeous. So, so, so gorgeous. Even a bit camp at times. I really love them. I love the like oversaturated graphics and stuff and all of these like layers and colors and clouds and panthenons and crosses, close-ups of eyes, of water, of flowers, just everything. So much like vivid imagery, it felt like a dream. At the end of Taigoto Ikaros when uh, everything grows, grows dark and then there's this huge burning sun behind the silhouette of Achan and he looks like completely black silhouette, like he's burning up and he's standing there with his arms out. I was so moved, I wanted to absolutely scream. It was beautiful, it was so cool. This kind of image just stays with me forever, like it's so good. And seeing it from so far away, you could see everything, you could see this whole sun. Hearing Imai sing during the falling down was so good, I'm so happy he was singing live. I forgot about Noronaka Blue, so at the very end when the lights went black, Atom went everyone was giggling it was the cutest thing i have ever seen every single time atan does anything that's a little bit silly or like a little bit sexy or anything it just makes me lose my mind i just want to cry i don't know it just makes me really happy maybe i'm projecting but i feel like atan did struggle in the past with uh kind of presenting a very cool very masculine energy at some points and i feel like finally at this point in his life um, in the last sort of five, six-ish years, um, or at least since, probably since I became a fan, he's just become so much more comfortable within himself. And even with these merch items, like these pillowcases and stuff, <laughs> I just feel like this would never happen before. But I feel like Atan is so much more comfortable with being naturally funny and gimmicky and silly and just doing very charming kawaii things and I don't feel like he feels he, like he has to hold back anymore and everyone is obsessed with it and you know I just think those moments are the best moments for sure when Bakuchiku are just letting go and being natural and being themselves um I should probably go to bed now uh it was lovely speaking to you I'll see you tomorrow I'm gonna go back to Tokyo and hopefully see some hydrangea and yeah <laughs> bye 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 i always thought that awamori was the like apples prefecture but actually it looks like nagano is kind of known for apples too and their mascot seems to be a little apple bear which is so cute. Got my lunch and I guess I'm ready to depart to get uh, my terrain. Let's go. Back at it again. Oh my god. I hate Don Quixote so much. Why is Don Quixote just filled with things that I want? I just finished getting ready and I'm gonna head to Hakusan Shrine to see the hydrangea there. Then I'm just gonna run some errands. Um, I need to book my Shinkansen tickets for like tomorrow. Apart from that, yeah, that's all. I'm wearing this Bakyo bouquet dress that I've had for quite a while, but I've never actually had the chance to wear it out. When I saw this perfume at Don Quixote, I knew I had to have it. It smells really good. It's a hydrangea perfume and it's only a little bottle, so I did buy another perfume, but this one, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I changed my blouse again. <laughs> I just didn't like the way the other one looked in the end. So this one's much prettier. I just prefer the sleeves on this one compared to the sleeves on the other one are a bit boring. So I think this one works a lot better. This is um, the blouse that I bought in Noemi in Sendai. <laughs>
I've heard that allegedly freshness burger is meant to be better than Moss Burger. I haven't had Moss Burger, so I'm gonna have freshness burger first, and then at some point I'm gonna have Moss Burger. So many lemons in here. Whole lemon, really. It's about 7.15 ish. I don't really want to get on the Yamanata line at the moment, so <laughs> let's just walk. It's about 30 minutes walk to where I want to get to. Haven't seen a tram yet while well, I've been here. Ooh, I wonder how you can ride them. They probably take past more, I guess, but wow. So cute, so tiny, it's like a bus. I got thirsty, so I'm gonna get a drink. Continue. Come on. I wonder what they're for. This walk reminds me so much of when I used to browse Google Maps in Japan endlessly except now I can smell the rain on the road <sighs> don't know where we are now but we're like 10 minutes away from Ikebukuro we're in Ikebukuro Sunshine City and should I go now? I might run to book off now really quickly I've never seen a CD with this inside before Suzuki Amelie Back on that 100 yen grind. Nice. I bought a couple of things. Um, a couple of gifts and just things for myself. Just two CDs, not much. <laughs> snack of these really cute looking egg potato chips and tomorrow we're gonna go to Ganma to Fujioka to um, sightsee Baktiku. Um obviously all the like sightseeing events are now over so there's no longer like um, the stamp rally and the flower show and everything ah wish me luck tomorrow oh my god <laughs> wish me luck tomorrow I'm gonna go bye bye Let's go! I oh, will seriously miss my train <laughs> again. Wearing this Amavel dress again, my favorite. <laughs> Feeling insane. Oh my god. <laughs> Grandma Tan is the cutest mascot. Literally not biased at all. Um, and oh my god, have you seen these? <laughs> have you seen these? Can you believe such a thing exists? No way. No way. No. No. <laughs> Ganna is also famous for konyaku, konyaku jelly, and konyaku goods, konyaku noodles, and such. Um, so there's a lot of konyaku stuff. I think they have like konyaku park here as well. Um, so that's why there's a lot of konyaku stuff. <laughs> this is so cute. Stop it. They have so much bread of different varieties. <laughs> Baby local Kamagawa train. It's so hot. It's about 30 degrees now. Suddenly the temperature just spiked. And now it's extremely hot 
in Gangwa in particular. Um, we're just approaching Ima Shoten now. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, kind of nervous, but also excited. Very nervous. I sat with Okasam for a bit and I read on the like Google reviews that some people were bringing gifts during like the tour period and stuff and I thought oh what can I bring? <laughs> Luckily I had um, like a bar of galaxies I gave it to her and um, yeah she accepted it so I'm happy um, <laughs> It feels like so preserved, everything is so preserved there it's so beautiful and there's so many little things such a big collection of serious birds and emis it's so so nice and lovely that such a place exists I started to cry reading everyone's little notes that they'd written I added my own one as well but most of them are Japanese but the drawings that some people put in there are so cute it makes me so happy to see all of these drawings and signatures from various people all over Japan and oh my god it's, it's amazing I'm so glad I could come like it's been it's been a long time coming for sure but I'm really happy I could come it's really really hot and what you're going a bit insane but <laughs> class is lovely she's just chilling there watching some drama on TV it's a very very cute place extremely special extremely holy I can imagine you might wasting away a lot of hours after school in there smoking cigarettes drinking with his friends and listening to records and stuff and it's such a lovely place and it's so peaceful and quiet and there's not many other people here today I'm not sure if it's the heat or something but I was really struck by how much Gunma reminds me of my hometown in Poland. It's very far out in the countryside and I think the architecture, like certain aspects of it, um, really reminds me of like the Polish countryside that I spent a lot of time in when I was a child and the smell and the atmosphere of the air is very similar temperature to how Poland is in the summer also. I saw the the fields, like the wheat fields and the big pylons and the overpass and the little streams that run like alongside the fields and that to keep them keep them uh, moist <laughs> all of that just really strongly reminded me of where I grew up and it's so weird I don't know maybe I'm projecting massively because I want it to be similar but it instantly hit me and I didn't find that with Nagano or Sendai or Osaka even the kinds of flowers like marigolds and sunflowers are two of the flowers that really remind me of my village we have a lot of marigolds in the cemeteries and obviously sunflowers there's plenty of sunflowers There's been some warnings of storms today, so I'm not sure I can stay much longer. I also got this from Kasan. It's from the Fujioka collaboration event that Takjuku had um, 
that I missed, but <laughs> it's a flyer, it's a stack of flyers that she has still. I won't shop about it, but <laughs> this reminds me of poem so much, like churning up the potato fields. Looks exactly the same, smells exactly the same. <laughs> it really sounds so generic, but you know, to me, it really like reminds me. And this, this storm cloud as well, we used to get so many storms in summer. It's raining so much. <laughs> We made it back. Bye bye, my shotan. Modotte kuru. Zettai modotte kuru. Last one at my local family mart. Let's go. Nice. I got them. Uh, tomorrow I wanted to go to the like Sylvanian families park. Um, the one that's in Ibaraki, but it's super hard to get to um, and expensive because you need to um, get a taxi basically or drive. There doesn't seem to be like a very easy way. Um, to get there super easily and I'm very tired from today um, and I don't really want to like struggle I think I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed um, because for some reason my uh, rail pass is like not going through properly so I keep having to ask um, staff so I'm just getting a bit tired of that so <laughs> I'm not gonna go there tomorrow instead I'm gonna go to Asakusa uh, in the morning and afternoon and then go to Akiba in the evening and um, just get some dinner around there. Oyakodon! That tastes very yummy. I like that flavour. It's good. 